Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Platform Strategy. So this is our first lecture, and we have Part A, Part B, whatever. If you see Part A or Part B, uh, that's distinguishing whether it is a lecture that I'm going to give you directly, or if you see one B or two B, that will be some kind of discussions. Okay. So for most of the time for lecture videos. You will see me focusing on one A because one B are for uh, discussions. All right. So for lectures two, three, four, pretty much is the same. So for this lecture, we will do our introduction or overview for this particular course. We want to tell you what are platforms and why do we want to talk about platforms. So my plan for this one is that I'm going to do an introduction about what do we mean by platforms. And what are the specific features we want to talk about, and why we want to do that? So this is definitely something interesting. But then we need some basic concepts before we can move to deeper、uh, discussions. Okay. So the second part will be devoted to some basic ideas like、uh, network economics, network externalities, what do we mean by information symmetry, cross subsidization. You may also consider it as some kind of terminology discussions. All right, so we will hopefully talk in the same language for later lectures. And lastly, I'm going to conclude this session by providing you several my favorite quotes. So I don't do that because I like to do that. It's because those quotes somehow um are related to this course and the way I decided to teach this course. Okay, so we will see that. So anyway, let's start with introduction. Okay, so what are platforms? Well, we define it in this way: a platform connects multiple entities for them to communicate and trade with each other. So you may think in this kind of visualization: there is a platform, and there are some entities. They get connected to each other because they get to that platforms. Okay, and typically it does not generate the product or service by itself. Okay, so when I want someone to serve someone, I just let them talk to each other instead of letting myself to do that product or service. So there are at least two kinds of platforms. Suppose we are talking about a single-sided platform, then all those entities are at the same side. Here, when we say two guys are on the same side, their objectives are considered to be the same. So the reasons for them to get to the platforms are the same. So, for example, there can be a social networking sites, right? Like Facebook when it was established, Instagram for it was established. Suppose we all talk about Facebook, all right? So for Facebook, for most of us, I guess we go to use Facebook because of what? Well, because we want to get connected with our elementary school stu-、uh, friends. If we want to、um, take some photos and upload it and say, okay, this afternoon I ate、um, this particular meal. It's very good. Right now, I'm listening to Professor Kong's lecture, which is boring.、Uh, I, we want to share our lives with our friends. We want to make friends there. Okay. So in that case, we all go to Facebook in the same reason. If that's the case, we say we are at the same side. So there are some single-sided platforms where all people go to there because they want to do the same thing. For this course and in practice, we core we focus more and we care more about multi-sided platforms and sometimes abbre abbreviated as MSP. In that case, we really get a platform where people may lie on different sides. Okay, so you have one side here, another side there. So when you are talking about this situation, then their objectives are of course different. For example, if you consider this as a C to C marketplace, like for example eBay, Taobao, for example, then there are naturally two sides, right? There is a buyer side, and there is a seller side. Some people go there because they want to buy, for example, some pens, and some people go there because they have some pens to sell. Okay, so that's different stories. Some people go there to be buyers. 
Some people go there to be setters. I, as a platform, I don't serve either side. Okay, but I let both sides to serve each other. That's how a multi-sided platform works. So we need to distinguish two different kinds of、uh, business models. One is a traditional one, which we call it a merchant here, and then the other one is the MSP we just mentioned. So when we are talking about selling products, for example, then、uh, the two the distinguish hopefully is、um, clear. Typically, if you serve as a merchant, you buy in products from suppliers, and then you do some packaging, repackaging. You do your branding. You do you maintain your retail stores. You do pricing, inventory, whatever, and then you sell to consumers. Okay, so in that case, we consider you as a merchant, retailer, reseller, whatever. Ah,、uh, so we call you as a merchant in this course. On the contrary. If you do it as an MSP, as we just mentioned, you don't really buy in products from suppliers. You don't really sell to consumers. Okay, you don't do that. You simply make a place for people to join your platforms, and once they may find each other, you let the suppliers sell to consumers directly. Okay. So, for example, if you run eBay or Taobao, basically you don't own those inventory. Right, you don't price those products. The suppliers they price their own products, keep their own inventory, do their own shipping, and serve the consumers. In that case, we are multi-sided platforms. So, e-traders are merchants. It doesn't really matter whether you sell products, uh, in physical stores or online. Okay. What matters is whether you own the product, whether you price the product, whether you do all those things by yourselves. Okay, so for many big companies, when they were first established as an e-trader, they all serve as merchants. Oh, I'm not saying that they are still purely merchant now. I'm saying that when they were established. Okay. So, for example, Amazon. Everybody knows Amazon. When Amazon was established in 1994, it was purely an e-trader. Everybody knows Amazon was selling books at that moment, right? Amazon purchases a、uh, purchased books and put that in the into their warehouses. Make the price, make the inventory, make the shipping, control the warehouse, control the inventory, and、uh, typically do everything. All right. So in that case, Amazon is just a merchant. All right. At that moment, Amazon is just a merchant. Internet is just one way for Amazon to reach consumers, to serve consumers. But that does not mean Amazon was a platform in 1994. Okay. So on the contrary, C to C marketplaces, of course, are multi-sided platforms. For example, eBay, Taobao, as we mentioned, right. Or in many cases, we see one kind of business models, which is you have a platform, and there are a lot of sellers who open their stores to serve those buyers. Okay, like uh in in Taiwan we have PC Home 商店街 Ah,、uh, I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Maybe PC Home Marketplace, something like that. So in that case, you do see some sellers. Sellers also have their brands. You go there, you see big brands, small brands. They do have brands. It's just that they are not the C side. They are not single individuals. They are brands. But you still go to a platform, which is PC Home, for example. You still go to that platform to get to reach those brands. Okay. So in that case, it doesn't really matter whether it is C to C or B to C. All right. In this particular case, some people would call it B to B to C, ah,、uh, but I don't really like this term, so I'm going to、um, just forget it. What's really important for me is that whether you own the products, sell them by yourself, or you make a place for suppliers to serve consumers. All right. So in one sentence, a merchant sells products and/or services. On the contrary. If you serve as a MSP, you sell connections and informations. You sell connections and informations instead of products and services. 
Another thing that some people would get confused with is the difference between product platform and the multi-sided platforms. So I have to say this is the the um uh, to distinguish these two things are not as important as distinguishing merchants with multi-sided platforms. But because there are so many students in my experience that get some confusion con uh, get confused here, so please allow me to say a little bit. So I hope MSP is clear enough. And sometimes we do see some companies serving as product platforms. So what are them? For example, today maybe you see some companies doing cloud services. Those cloud service providers like Amazon, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and uh, Google Cloud Platforms (GCP). You even see that GCP consider itself as a platform. All right. So these cloud service providers, what do they do? They help some companies to create their services to serve consumers. Okay. So graphically, I draw the picture like this. So for example, uh, probably we all know、um, Dropbox. Okay. Dropbox is a service on internet helping us to back up your files, sync your files, something like that. And、uh, probably some people knows KKBox in Taiwan, and so on and so on. KKBox is just like Spotify in Taiwan. So there are many many companies. They do internet services, right? If you want to serve consumers by hosting a company like KKBox, so you serve.、Uh, you I guess you agree that typically you should have、um, a lot of、um, mainframes, a lot of servers, so that consumers may get services by those、uh, servers or mainframes. But today, KKBox don't really own those. Servers. They don't do those infrastructure or software maintenance things by themselves. They simply use AWS, okay, and、uh, set up all the services on AWS, okay. So in that case, in that case, you may say, oh well, KKBox can start their business by using the services by AWS. So that's totally fine. But the thing is that even though AWS serves as a platform to help companies like KKBox, Dropbox, and many many others. In that case, we don't say AWS or Amazon as a multi-sided platform. What's the difference? It depends on whether your consumers see the fact about that product platforms. When you are a consumer. When you want to choose between KKBox, Spotify, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, whatever, you don't really care about whether it is worked by AWS or GCP or Azure, right? So in that case, product platforms they simply hide behind those suppliers, and all you see are the brands of the suppliers. You do care about quality. But you don't care about who provides that quality service, okay? So you don't choose a platform to join when that platform is a product platform. You choose the brand, you choose the supplier instead of choose the platform. But when you talk about multi-sided platforms, you do need to choose the platform to go. So that and that affects the set of suppliers that you may uh get connected with. Okay, you do need to choose between eBay, Taobao, AWS, ah、uh, Amazon, for example. Okay, so the distinguish um uh the 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 difference is that in here you need to choose a platform for product platforms you don't. So one good example regarding multi-sided platforms. That we may make some analogy with product platforms is this one. So those app stores for iOS, for Android, okay, app stores, Google Play, they seems to be similar to those cloud services, but they are different. Regarding business、uh, models, they are multi-sided platforms because as a consumer, no matter whether you say you want to buy an app or download an app. You need to first choose a, a, a platform to join. Okay, you need to decide. Okay, I'm going to buy an iPhone. 
then you join iOS. You want to buy some other forms, you join Android. All right. So you first join a platform, a multi-sided platform, and then you get connected to a set of suppliers. All right. And the determination here, the de the decision here is going to affect the set of suppliers that you may get connected with. All right. So that's the difference. Uh, so that's why I say iOS and Android they are multi-sided platforms, but GCP AWS they are uh, product platforms. So if that seems to be reasonable to you, a product platform, what do they sell? They it sells functions and services. It provides services directly to those suppliers, while as an MSP. You still sell connections and informations as the most important、uh, value to consumers and suppliers. Okay, so in this course, we are not going to focus too much on product platforms. Why? Because basically, you must be an IT giant so that you may do a business for product platforms. All right. So later, you will see a lot of different kinds of multi-sided platforms. That is going to create a natural question for you. When you want to do a business, do you want to be an MSP or a merchant? But in most cases, you don't really have a chance to be a product platform. Okay. So I hope this this particular page of slides is just for us to understand. Well, there are some platforms. They are not multi-sided platforms. We don't really want to focus too much on them. Okay, so that's the purpose of this particular page.